closed for a really big game. Technicals were very strong. It was one of those days where the market just spoke. And uh, all of it had to do with the um, inflation readings, the CPI numbers that were really much better than most people thought. And uh, now the thought that the Fed may be done raising and even when they start cutting next year would be in play. And that's what Fed fueled the market tonight. Lots of stocks are running. Let's take a look at ACHR, which for me broke out of a bottoming type pattern. If you take a look, first of all, at the overall pattern of this stock, you will see that it's had a double bottom, a large run up, took it from under two to over seven, and then a three wave corrective pull back, and then a little inverse head and shoulders. And today, it broke out of the neckline, went through the moving averages. This one should retest seven and a half and eventually get up towards 10. That's my target. I may put a swing on this one. ACIC exploded. It was a good day trade for us as it went from under eight to um, nine and 965 or so and finished 951, a big gain of 266, 39%, and good volume on that one too. Thin, and it may move to the next level at 13. AFRM, after pulling back for a couple of days, uh, snap back today. What I'm looking for is a move over 27, then a test at 3031. Nice channel. AGTI, rounding bottom, pop, and then pull back to fill that little gap right back up again today with a gain of 17% on three quarters of a million shares. The extension might be somewhere in the nine and a quarter a half area, and then 10 and three quarters, 11. AI popped out of the mini basement it's been in. It had a good day today trading 12.6 million. 7.8%. Uh, it closed above the breakout point. So at this point, I'm putting a target at 33, 37, and 44. AIRE, AIRE, extremely thin, very volatile, exploded today. And after hours, went all the way up to 1633, trading at three points less than that, but had a big day today up 126% on 3 million shares. Oops, sorry, 32 million. I wouldn't be shocked to see it extended to the mid 20s. Carvana, one of our favorites, pulled back to test support at the gap, held it, and today spiked up 469, 16.5%. What we want to do is get past the resistance of 35. You do that, 38, 42, and above our targets. DraftKings, one of our favorites, and really looking good in the air. After breaking out of the coil with the breakaway gap above the moving averages, it popped, flagged, and sat on top of the prior high, held it, and then spiked today at 3707 up 149. Only about 4% gain, but I'm thinking this is going to be 40, 44, 47 type of targets. Duolingo, yet after the monster run it's had, extended all the way up to 230, 223, before backing up to 217.40, was still up over four. Now, the momentum it's had has been phenomenal, but it has had a run from 141 to two. 23 for about 80 points. So you got to be careful up here since it's ne nearing the top of the channel. Strong momentum, however. DYN popped through lateral pressure resistance and moving averages today with a pop of $1.89 at 22%. 900,000 traded. It's at the declining top sign. Any extension here, your target is 12 and three quarters and 15. So a junior semiconductor, Indy Semiconductor, INDI, popped a couple of days ago and pulled back and today broke out. But there is overhead resistance up in the seven, seven and a half range, your next target. NAIL with uh, interest rates uh, coming down, the housing stocks did well. The ETF for housing NAIL exploded out of a, a week long uh, flag above the moving averages and today spiked from 58.49 to 71.80, 13 points, finished up 11.36 or 19%. Your targets now are 79 and 88. NOVA and the solar group, little mini inverse head and shoulders today. The right shoulder spiked up on volume of 12.2 million and gained $1.33 or 15.6%. If we get to the neckline of 11, you're probably looking at a move towards 14. Nutanix, one of our swings, one of my favorites. Really nice day today. Broke through the prior high from October, jumped across 40, finished at 40.18, up 142, nearly 4% gain. Now looking for 43.44. Impinge broke out after a long downtrend and a breakaway gap ran up to resistance today popped through and, and inducing me to give you a swing on it. 
I believe. Stock may be headed to high 80s, low 90s, and then maybe 110. Palantir popped up a little bit, got up to the high from August, when it traded all the way up to 2024, today's high, 2027. So needs to get through that. If so, 24 and 28 are targets. Rhythm exploded, came through a three month consolidation. It's up 439 and 15%. It's near the 34, 35 all time high range, and not all time, but multi year high. If we get through that, we're looking at a stock in the high 30s. SMCI exploded for 39, 38 points and broke the resistance to moving averages, et cetera. Now, the only thing left is this declining top sign, which it closed right at. The next target would be a retest of 316. Snap popped out as well, extending now the move from under nine to over 12, 1243 was tagged. Your next target, 13 three quarters and 15. DHRX also spiked up with a breakaway gap on 28 million shares. Closed up 106, that's a 50% gain. Looking for a test of the gap. As early as tomorrow with 385.87, and we'll see if we can get up to four and a half. Tandem, long multi-month declining channel that took it from mid thirties down to the 14 range spiked up today to 1808. That was up 310 on the day at 20%. The targets are now 20 and 23. DSLL, the tracking stock for Tesla, with an inverse head and shoulders broke out today and now maybe coming back towards the declining top sign around 15, beyond that, 17. Viaset, which is a tech traded swing I put on a couple of days ago, it backed off, came out again, jumping to 35 today, nearly 13%. This feed bottom of the platform have broken. If we get over 22, 22, we're looking at 25 and 28 for targets. And finally, the Chinese electric vehicle favorite e, uh, XPEV, V bottom right hand extension held right at support in the moving average. Then it popped about 36, or about 9%. Looking for a run at these highs at 18 and then 20. Let's look at some of the hot stocks at thetechtrader.com. Good night, everybody.